Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd do my everyday makeup routine for you guys since I've never really shown it before. Um, I just got out of the shower and it's just a Tuesday before work. So I'm just gonna show you like my everyday makeup that I do on like a weekday. I don't really change it up on the weekend either, but I have all my makeup in this cute little pink makeup kit that Connor got me for Christmas. And yeah, so let's just get started. So first I'll show you what my skincare I did for this morning. So I started with the Ordinary Alpha Arbitin 2 with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is supposed to be good for hyperpigmentation because I don't know if you could tell right here on my forehead and then like right here I have like hyperpigmentation, it's like dark. And especially like when I tan, if I'm not wearing makeup, like it gets very dark. So I'm trying to use this, this is good for dark spots. I'm trying to use this, especially before summer. Um, so it doesn't get any worse. And then I also, after that, I applied the azelaic acid suspension, which is like brightening for dark spots and stuff. So my skin is pretty clear right now. Like this is mostly just like scars, um, which is good. <laughs> I've been trying to eat better and like I just started on my workout kind of grind starting yesterday because I was like comparing pictures of myself that I just took the other day compared to when I was in Mexico and it is scary. I lost everything that I tried so I need to get on my health game. And then on top of that, I just you go in with my CeraVe moisturizing cream. I love that stuff. All right, so to start, I'll go in with my CeraVe sunscreen, and this has a sheer tint to it, but it doesn't really add any coverage since my skin is uneven. But I apply this on my ears, my neck, and then any leftover I'll apply to my hands, because on TikTok they have me like freaking out that I need to apply all my skincare to my hands. And then when that kind of soaks in, I take my vitamins, which I'll show you guys. So I take a folic acid vitamin. I think maybe this is just like good for women. So you just take one of these. They're really good. And um, I just started taking this stuff, Panto Gold from Amazon. Um, it's supposed to be for like, your skin and it says the recommend dosage is two but I read on the reviews that two can be a little strong so I'm just starting out with one because I know if you took like too much biotin or some vitamins like it can make your breakouts worse but these taste like candy like they're delicious okay I'll start with my foundation and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I used to use this all the time back in the day and I just got back into it and it's fabulous. So I just kind of paint this all over. I know this isn't the most hygienic, but I don't really care because it's just my face. So I'll kind of paint this on. I'm just gonna do like one layer today. Usually if it's like the weekend and I need extra coverage on my cheeks, I'll do two, but since it's just for work. And then I use this Morphe M439 brush. This is what I use for foundation. And I more like kind of pat it in. Cause I find that if it rubs, it just like rubs all the foundation away. And I am in no means like good at my makeup. Like a lot of my friends are like way better and do like cool eyeshadow and stuff, but I literally don't do anything. Okay, and then you gotta make sure you bring it down to the neck. Okay, so yeah, you can see like patting it in the lighting's really not great, sorry. This is gonna be a long video, so just bear with me. Okay, so looks pretty good, pretty good coverage. Like it covers up all my scars. 
And then I go in with the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. This is in shade Fair Beige. And I just do that kind of in that V. I'm gonna add my high points in my face. And then I go in with that same foundation brush and just kind of buff that. I really need to get like a like a loose powder to bake because my under eyes, like even with my setting powder, they still crease pretty bad. And then I need access all like pat where like my scars are. Okay. Then I will set everything. I just take like a fluffy brush. I think I got this for Christmas one year. And I'm gonna use that Infallible by L'Oreal foundation and a powder on TikTok. That Michaela girl who's really big like convinced me to buy it because it gave her like full coverage. It looked amazing on her, but with my skin it just didn't work. So now I just use it as a setting powder. And I use it in the shade Golden Beige. So I'll just kind of pat this and then pat it to set everything. I have very oily skin, so like I need a lot of powder. And then for under my eyes more, I'll go in with this lighter powder. This is just the Rimmel Stay Matte, I think. I've been using this stuff literally, I think, since like freshman year of college. And I'll just go in. There. And then my biggest pet peeve when I do my makeup is like when my foundation gets on my lips. So I'm gonna wipe that off. And it just brings color back to my face. And I would say the biggest thing I can't live without are my eyebrows. Like you can tell I literally have none. They're like so light. So my favorite that I've been using for a long time now is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. I like my brows kind of dark. And then I feel like such a cool YouTuber. Okay, so yeah, I'll do this. And then like, there's really no rhyme or reason to this. I just paint it on. And I'll probably fast forward through this. Good for now. And then my Ride or Die mascara that I've been using since high school. And I've tried a ton of other mascaras and nothing will ever compare to this. This is the Maybelline Cat Eye and just black. The packaging has like a little leopard print on it. And it's the curly brush, like the curved brush, which I swear makes all the difference. So I just, I only put this on my top lashes. Okay, that's one coat. I'm gonna go in with another one. See, I already look more put together. Now for bronzer, I've been super into cream. So these are both from Wet n Wild. I'm loving Wet n Wild and it's so affordable. 
So this is the contour stick from Wet n Wild in Call Me Maple. So I'll put this on my forehead, go kind of contour with it, put it on my nose under here. And then I take this kind of angled brush and I blend it in. This like really gives you that kind of like sun-kissed look. And I find especially like in the cheek area to pat. Otherwise, like it just lifts the makeup and then you can see my acne. And then the nose, contour that baby. And under here. And then you gotta blend the neck. You can already tell I look like I have more life in me. And then I will go in with the same kind of vibe in the blush, which is in the shade Floral Majority. And this is kind of like, I love these color blushes. They're like kind of like the bronzy mauve -y. And I learned on TikTok, you put your blush like on top of your contour and on the nose, cause that lifts your face. And I'll just do the same thing, pat. <laughs> Blend it on the nose. And then I'll go in with a little bit of bronzer powder. This is just like the bronzer palette from e.l.f. This is definitely probably expired. I've had it for way too long. But I'll just kind of do like pat over it. Just to set everything a little bit since I am oily. And then I've been also using this blush since college. It's the Milani kind of shimmery blush in Berry Amore. And it's that same kind of like bronzy, shimmery, like dark rosy color. And I'll just do that kind of on top of everything to set it. Gotta get the nose. Don't forget the nose because that makes you look like rosy, you know? See, are you look cuter? Next, I take my highlighter, which is again, Wet n Wild, which is like their Mega Glow in Golden Flower Crown. I used to use the same kind, but in like their pink, like more pinky, but I'm more into like a gold highlight. So I just take it with a fan brush and then put it like all over. The high points, and I, I like it if, when I put it right underneath like my dark circles, since I'm not wearing bottom mascara. I feel like that gives me like a more natural glow, like right underneath my eye. And then I'll bring it up to my temple. And then a little bit on the nose and the upper lip. Fabulous. And then I'll retake this layer powder and my big fluffy brush and I'll just kind of like kind of try to carve out the bottom just so it blends and kind of redo like the contour line. And then lastly, I go in with my Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt and this is kind of to just like keep my brows in place. I try to do like kind of the soap brow look, but my brows are like, <laughs> they do not grow right, so. Doing this on my phone is really hard. Okay, I'm gonna do one more coat of mascara. Just to give me like a little zhuzh. This isn't as long as I thought, but.
fabulous. This is basically it. I'm going to do my cell smell. Take like a Q-tip and get like the mascara off my eyelid because I suck at putting on mascara. Fabulous, and then to finish it off, I just started using the Revolution Beauty Matte Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I think it does work very good, but you can tell there's alcohol in it, which it hasn't bothered my skin yet, but I mean, I guess to do the drying work, kind of has to. So I'll spray that. And that is it, you guys. This is my everyday makeup. I really don't change it. Even on weekends, if anything, I just add bottom mascara or anything. Like if I try to do eyeshadow, I'll like take bronzer and like put it in the crease. But that is it. Let me brush my hair. I actually washed it this morning. And usually I don't put any heat on my hair during the week. I'll just part it in the middle kind of, even if it's like not perfect, it's fine. And that's it, that's my everyday makeup routine. Hope you guys liked it, as you can tell, it's all drugstore products. I really don't like spending money on expensive makeup. Um, but yeah, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed my getting ready with me for work. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.